I am back in the garage today. I have a bunch of blanks here, got a stack. I think there's five boards. I have five boards to screen print, fingers crossed today. I just screen printed one, so technically it would make it half a dozen. Still figuring out how to work with water base. Water base definitely is the easiest ink to work with when you're learning how to screen print and screen printing on like a solid piece of wood like this compared to like a t-shirt or a hoodie. It's a lot different. There's a, quite a few different variables that you need to consider. So one of the main things I would say to consider is when you're screen printing with water-based inks, you can't let the screen just chill with ink in it. Like Plastisol, you can just let it chill all day. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna dry unless it's like super duper hot where you're printing. But basically I've had to just like print and then just clear the screen make sure there's no blockage in the screen because some of the prints were coming out kind of not good again but luckily for water base you can just wet it up wipe it down everything is good it's much easier to make adjustments on the screen so if i lay down too much ink i can just clean it up with a bit of water we're going to jump into screen printing some boards right now this is scary this is exciting it's difficult but I'm definitely learning a few things along the way and hopefully you guys do as well. I've got some shop help today. Bane's come out here to uh, oversee the whole production and make sure everything's quality. Big yawn. So one thing I have been doing is I've been like putting the board on the jig and then taking some clear contact paper and then putting contact paper over the top of the board, printing, getting a test print done and then gauging what I need to do and what I need to adjust from there. So basically I'll just load up the press like this. Sometimes I've got a, I've got like screws coming out of the jig. I've got to like adjust one of the screws to make it uh, fit the different sizes. Sometimes you've got to go forward, sometimes you've got to go back, but so technically I'm just MacGyvering it right now. There we go, we're in. This part can get a little tricky. <laughs> You just want to make sure it's like flat. It looks like I got that one down first try. See if it lines up with the graphic. It does. Beautiful. Technically, I just have to like um, use my can of LaCroix right here as a stop and then flood the screen, print the board. I'm going to throw some gloves on because you get so messy doing this and I don't want to like get ink on my hands and start touching a bunch of stuff. Should be plenty of ink left on the screen and on my squeegee. And luckily, I have these cards here that I can just scrape. I can just scrape that off. Look at that. Lovely. Pop that down. A nice flood. Now let's see how this goes. Drop this. One more to clear the screen. That's come out. Come out. Yuck. <laughs> it came out kind of hazy. I don't know why. I think what happened that time was the ink in the screen was already kind of dry ink. So I just need to like lay down some fresh ink into the screen and that should work a charm. So all I've been doing today is cleaning screens and I've got like another five boards to do. So this is how the print come out. Didn't come out too great. Luckily I had the contact on it. I got the screen cleaned as much as I could. I'm gonna peel this up now and then lay down another one and hopefully this print comes out better. Just gotta throw down some fresh black since this stuff dries so fast. Just a little bit. That should be plenty, I think. Give her a good flood. That came out good. That came out so much better. I'm still getting this part of the screen clogged up though. I do not know why, so I'm gonna get onto that, clean that up, and then lay down this print on this deck. This is gonna be the one, I can feel it. A nice flood. Pop that out the way. Here we go. Better, check it out. Not too bad, not the best, but hey, it's handmade, remember? So this next deck is kind of interesting. It's like wood grain. I guess it's kind of like a caramel wood grain. Definitely gonna throw the black print. The rest of them are pretty much light colored boards. So I'm gonna do the black ink instead of the white. Definitely keen to do some two color prints on these decks. Like if I do get another set of decks for sure. Okay, a nice little flood here. Pop that out the way and here we go.
Good. We're getting somewhere, guys, and I'm learning to clear my screen after every pull. Check that out. Boom, boom, boom. It actually goes pretty nice on the caramel wood grain. The black kind of pops. Pow, pow. Pop that in the sun, wait for it to dry, clear coat it, and yeah, on to the next. You know what would be really cool eventually? To get a smaller screen made up for the top sheet so I can put like, boom, evening, like here, and you can leave your grip cut if you want, if you're that kind of guy. Managed to get the 8.8 .8 to fit, so just got to bust out the print now. If anybody is wondering, these boards come from the BBS wood shop, so they are super good boards with super good screen printing done on by hand by me on these boards. Boom! Happy Halloween! These are like Halloween colors. That's why I wanted this board to come out really good because it's Halloween very soon. I am on the absolute last deck right now and it is a green on green. Teal green, dark teal green on a green base, kind of like a watermelon. Oh, I just had the sickest idea, oh, but it's not watercolor. I have some like red plastisol, so it probably won't work on this board, but oh, I feel like if I let it dry long enough and then I clear coat it, it could work, but a red on the green might be sick. I don't know if I'm being too extra, like a red on the green would be so sick, but I don't know if it'd work because it's not water-based ink. You probably shouldn't print on hard surfaces with Plastisol because it's just gonna wipe right off. So maybe I'll just stick with the water-based, but could you imagine that red on the green? It's like watermelon. I've come to like watermelon a lot lately in my uh, little fruit medley for breakfast. This is the last print. I don't have any more blank decks after this deck. I actually lie, I do. I have a deck that I've ruined that I chromed over. Maybe I should try, once I get this done, I'll try hit the red on top of the chrome just as a see what happens kind of deal. Okay, the screen is definitely over flooded, but let's see how we go, eh? Oh, look at that. That didn't turn out too bad at all. That actually turned out pretty good first hit. Would you have a look at that? Have a go at it. Boom. First hit, I just straight was like, you know what? I'm just gonna run it. And here it is. Not bad at all. I'm gonna get the screen all cleaned out, swap the ink out, chuck the red down, and then see how we go with this chrome board. Let me pull it out. I, I chromed over it because I tried to print on it and then it come out bad, so I was just like, oh, okay, there already is an evening design on this board already, but I feel like if I do red over the top, that could be sick. This is just like a, this is purely just for like entertainment purposes for myself, and hopefully you guys find it entertaining as well, but I'm really keen to see what red will look like against the chrome. We're gonna try some red Plastisol on a skateboard deck because we're keeping it interesting over here. I should probably grab a different squeegee or clean that one. This ink is like two years old, so could have give it a bit of a mixer. I need some Crocs. I'm barefoot in the garage right now and it like my heels hurt from standing on the concrete. Never thought I would say that before, but I need to buy some Crocs. Load her up, eh? This is definitely way too much, but uh, it's mixed with the black. I've got to be quick about this. Pop that back on. Got the mini squeegee, we're just gonna Flood it and then go for it. Oops. Looks like a pretty good flood. That red is super vibrant. Okay, here we go. Two times if you know me. It turned out horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Have a go at it. It, it could have worked. The uh, inspiration was there, so that, that could have worked and it looks pretty cool against a chrome background. But yeah, very, very messy and yucky. Despite it not really working, it still kind of turned out really dope. I really like the look of the chrome 
with the red and the white even the red and the white pops honestly like a white base and then a red outline so yeah this is all this is all feeding me ideas into what kind of designs are possible for myself Just to give you guys a heads up, I'm having a massive evening sale. Like the hoodies are 20 bucks, the shirts are 15. I'm gonna run this sale for while stocks last basically, so make sure you head on over. Give you guys a little preview of what we've got on sale right now. So we have the throwy hoodies. These are 20 bucks right now, go and pick one up. We have these uh, Hoodlum Kid t-shirts, the evening Hoodlum Kid tees, 15. Lowrider tees are 15. And the Heist hoodie is also on sale. These are 20 bucks. So yeah, make sure you head on over, go and pick something up. So the little clips you just seen of me like sewing the labels onto the hats. We're having a new drop next month for evening. Very excited about this drop. I've been working night and day on this drop and it's been so much fun. So if you want to support, make sure you follow Evening Mob on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Enochism. I'm going to be announcing when the drop is, like the dates officially. So just keep watching the vids, follow me on Instagram, follow the mob on Instagram. Make sure you jump in on this sale right now. $20 hoodies, $15 t-shirts. Also the boards that I screen printed in this video are going to be going with the next drop. So make sure you follow Evening Mob on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. The decks I just printed are going to be with the drop next month that I'm very excited about. Stay tuned for dates. Cheers for watching. See you guys in the next video. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man, bring him to me Cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff in Tennessee Now all the time while this stuff is going on I called up another roadie on my flip phone Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order